Okay, so I just had the most, <laughs> um, the most ridiculous afternoon in terms of my job search. It had to have been just the most useless thing I've done so far in the last three months in terms of job searching. Um, and then my evening home just kind of was the cherry on top. So I was writing about it and then I just felt like I couldn't properly express just the full ridiculousness of the situation. So um, I'm making a video with Madden's help apparently. Um, and yeah, I may or may not post it, but I don't know. We will see. Anyways, so what happened was last <laughs> last night I got a phone call. Actually, it was more yesterday morning. I don't know why I said last night. Um, yesterday morning I got a phone call from this agency that I had applied for a job to. And... Um, it was an office administration job or something to that effect. Anyways, the woman ended up calling me and telling me that that position specifically had been filled, um, but that but that they had another job that they wanted to interview me for. So I obviously agreed, and I went in today for this interview. Okay. So I go in for the interview and they put me in this room and they basically just have me start filling out um, a piece of paper with my job history and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm filling out this paper and then she comes in, she gives me a Wimis sheet. So I'm a little... Hi, Yappy. So I was a little confused about why... I love you. I am officially that woman on the commercial with the cat and the girl ah. cookies. Yeah. Okay. So she gives me a Wimish sheet and she puts on this video. So I'm sitting here a little confused as to why I'm doing a Wimish sheet because I thought that I was being interviewed for some job. She hasn't even told me what the job is for or what I'm doing. So anyways, I'm sitting there and I'm filling out a Wimish sheet and, um, I'm not even paying attention to the video because who pays attention to women's videos? So, in. so I noticed that they had a sheet on the women's thing up on the wall. So I ended up just taking the sheet down and just found all of the answers on the sheet. So I wrote it down and then go get it. So I'm filling out the answers and then I bring it to her, I tell her that I'm finished and then she gives me this other thing and I look at it and it was legitimately a math quiz, like a, a math quiz. So I am, anyone who knows me knows I'm not good at math, okay. I went to school for English and mathematics and the sciences are just not my strong suit. You could ask Mr. Seidel, my grade 10 science teacher. We had an assignment where we had to put, ah, uh, where we had to put different household products and what they were for and what they were made of and so on and so forth. I put the ant acid was used to kill ants. So clearly I did not do very well on that assignment. And for my grade 12 data management class, um, I, we were given a cheat sheet. We had a full piece of paper, front side and back. And I literally went through the entire textbook from that year and I copied out every single note, every single note, word for word. I put down the equation. I put down what everything was for and how you did it and all that kind of stuff. And I still failed the exam. I wrote down everything. I got 47% on the exam. So just math and sciences do not work well for me. So I get this little quiz thing that looks like a seventh grade math quiz. And I was just like, oh, this is not gonna go well. So anyways, I end up just taking out my phone and I used my phone for most of the questions. It was like 121 minus 47 plus, I don't know, 93 or something. I don't know. And I was just like, eh, calculator. So then there were a whole bunch of fractions, like multiplying fractions. I can't, no, that's not, I can't. So anyways, 
the one was like one quarter multiplied by seven eighths or something like that. I ended up writing four times eight equals 32. That was my answer. Four times eight equals 32. So anyways, so then I had to bring that out to her and she looks at it and she just kind of stares at me and I was just like, I am not a math student. So then she goes, well, you know, we have this job opportunity and it's for a greenhouse, but they have really wonky hours. So would you be willing to work like 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. or like 2 a.m. to 12 p.m.? And I was like, no. And she goes, oh, you can't make that work? And I said, oh, I can, but I'm not going to. And she was just like, oh, well, I don't really think this job is going to work then. So we'll just hold on to this and we'll give you a call if anything else comes through that will be a little bit better for you. And I was just sitting there. I was like, okay, I just wasted. It was a 40 hour, 40 hour, yeah, a 40 minute drive. I was there for about 50 minutes and then I had to make a 40 minute drive back home. Do you not think that are you willing to work 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. to 12 p.m.? Do you not think that that maybe should have been a question that you asked me on the phone the day before, before I wasted my time coming in for the so-called interview that wasn't even an interview. It was a win it or what is it called? Wimis worksheet and a seventh grade math quiz that I couldn't even finish. Ridiculous waste of time. So anyways, I leave this interview again. That was a bigger waste of time than my last relationship. And I go to visit Seamus at work for his lunch. So then I'm driving home and I'm just thinking I can't wait to get home because this whole day has just been ridiculous. And then I'm on Highway 19. Highway 19 is just like a basic stretch of 80 kilometers um, and then the occasional 60 kilometer because you reach a town with like schools and stuff. So anyways, so we go through a 60 zone and then I come up to these two vehicles because we reach the 80 zone again. I usually cruise down at like 95-ish. So I reach these two vehicles and they're going super slow and I don't mind if people go the speed limit. It doesn't bother me at all. I will just pass you. Um, but these people were, ah, that was a hard bite, boo-boo. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so we are in the 80 zone now and these people are going 65. So I was like, okay, no, I really do not feel like going 65. I kind of just want to go home. So, um... I go to pass, <laughs> I go to pass these people, so I signal, and then I get over, and then just as I'm about to speed up, this other idiot, because there's two vehicles, okay, so the second idiot, the one right in front of me, all of a sudden decides that she would also like to pass the first idiot, so then... So then she just pulls out in front of me. Oh, she signaled. Thank you for at least letting me know that you were about to, you know, sideswipe me. So she signals, gets over directly in front of me. So I have to slam on the brakes now. So then I fall back and this person passes and then I come right up and I pass this person as well. And then the person in front of me who cut me off flipped me off. So I was like, hell no. So then I go to pass this person because I was like, I don't even want to be near you. You're clearly a crazy person driving a large vehicle. You should not be. So I pass her and then she just starts riding my ass, giving me the finger the entire time. So I was just like, okay, that's fine. I really don't care. And then I saw Popo up ahead and then she all of a sudden was just like, oh no, and like fell back and disappeared from my life. So then I'm sitting there thinking about how stupid this whole day has been. So then I pull onto the road where you just drive down this road for a little bit and then eventually you turn onto the street where we live. So I pull onto this road and I'm driving, driving, driving. I'm only like only 45 because I think it goes back and forth between 40 and 50 and 40 and 50 and 40 and 50. So I just cruise 45. It's safe. So anyways, and then all of a sudden I see this little 
a chipmunk just pull out in front of my car and then I didn't see it go out the other side and I actually screamed screamed pull over my vehicle because I'm for sure that I have killed this tiny like tiny little chipmunk so then I pull over my vehicle I get out I'm like crying actually crying because of this little BB chipmunk and I look and um, I successfully ran over a rolling pine cone. So that was my day. I don't actually know what the point of this was. I'm looking at the time and this is a, so far, a 10 minute and 46 second long video. So if I do end up posting this, and if you do end up watching it till the end, um, I apologize profusely, but um, this is my day, and the only person I have to talk to right now is either Madden, who is a little preoccupied with this rolly ball that Caitlin got him, actually, um, or myself, which I do frequently have conversations with myself now that I am no longer working and Seamus is working. Um, I am an excellent conversationalist. But anyways, that's it. I have nothing else to say. I hope everyone else had a better day than I did. Okay, bye-bye. I don't know how to stop this.